Now this is quite important. We're going to talk about different cases whereby um, the objects produce different kinds of images when they start off at different places. Well, case number one is an object at an infinite position. Now this doesn't mean really infinite. However, it does mean that the object is very very far away from the lens. So this is a little bit like taking a picture of the moon. The moon is very very far away from earth and therefore light rays coming from the moon and going through the focal point and the center of the axis like this would be almost parallel. So we can consider these two lines to be parallel. So if the object is at an infinite position or a near infinite position and you see this kind of image and these two lines are sort of parallel this line will of course go straight through and this line will go through the focal point hit the lens and it will produce a parallel ray and this image is known to be at exactly on the focal point this would be like using a telescope the nature of this image would be it is real it is a real image which means it can be placed on the screen it is diminished an object that is very large imagine a huge arrow imagine a huge arrow very far in the distance producing lines that come over here so the object itself is very big however the image over here is quite small and manageable so the image is diminished lastly this image it will be inverted at first the arrow will be upright and now the image would be inverted or upside down the image distance v will be equals to f on the opposite side of the lens as the object now let's look at a slightly more understandable case okay for this case the object is still fairly far off okay however it is at a more manageable distance than the previous case it's not at an infinite distance like the moon but now it's perhaps across the room let's think of it that way okay we call it the object distance u is more than 2f which is more than two times of the focal length of the lens so when the object is over here and you draw the lines correctly the basic line through the center and then the parallel line and then through the focal point over here you will get the image over here so in the exams they would ask you to describe this image perhaps after drawing it you would say the nature of the image is real you can produce this onto a screen it is inverted and it is diminished it is smaller than the object and the location of the image would be between f and 2f or between the focal point and two times the focal point somewhere in between there and it will be on the opposite side of the lens as the object some uses for this are the camera and also the human eye just like your phone camera or a normal camera you, you normally take pictures of um, objects that are room size like humans or animals or places and these images right transmitted in and you can see them on your phone as a smaller image so that's where the diminished size of the image comes from now let's talk about the third case now the object gets closer and closer now the object, imagine the object from the beyond 2f position, now it's at exactly 2f. What type of image would this produce? You draw a line straight through the center, then you use a second rule again, draw a line parallel and draw a line through the focal point. You should get the image at exactly the position of 2f. And the nature of the image for this case will be that it is real, inverted, and exactly the same size this is quite interesting because this is what a photocopier does so a photocopier takes a piece of a4 paper then uses a lens to make a copy of the object and it produces the exact image that is the exact same size